Egyptian. Up by two. There's Bynum. Foul by Lawson. This is the advantage that the Lakers have in this series and in just about any series. They just have more weapons to go to between Kobe, Gasol, Bynum, whatever matchup they like, they can go to to close a game. Bynum is three of four at the line. Has not shot well in the final minutes of games at the line. TNT this June, the end, just the beginning from TNT. Confidence. I'm not sure where else you have an advantage. You know, Miller tried to post up. And Bynum misses both now. But George is going to talk about it. I think this is smart. you got to draw something up here to get a good look. And Gallinari is playing with five fouls. So the Nuggets would like to see him hang around. A minute 43 to play in the fourth. Lakers by two. Nuggets now one full timeout out of 20. And both teams are over the limit. And you look for something maybe out of the ordinary from George Carl. Maybe a little chicanery like a, you know, a, a weak side beer pick uh, for, you know, a, a, for a shooter like Gallinari or Harrington. Try to draw the defense in the paint and maybe set a backside pick on the weak side. But, but, but tough options here for George Carl because you don't have great three-point shooting. Miller and Lawson at the guards. Gallinari, Harrington, and McGee on the front line. Lawson is open for three. Bobbled and handled by Gasol. And Denver was trying to bring Gallinari off the weak side double. But Lawson had the open look. He just couldn't get it to go. A minute 20 left. And the fourth, Lakers try to hang on and take a three games to one lead. Sessions off the tough angle. Rebounded by Miller. Gallinari sets his feet for three. Yes! And now they say it's a two. Greg Willard standing behind. Gallinari indicates two-pointer. The game is tied at 86. That's the problem. When Sessions penetrates and misses a shot, there's no defensive balance for the Lakers. That's why Gallinari was wide open. Oh, Gallinari took a shot to the nose from Gasol. Here's Sessions for three. Gallinari is down. There was no foul called. Apparently it was to the throat as he was guarding Gasol. It appeared to be accidental, but he took a shot. The Lakers have taken an 89-86 lead. This was the previous play, and a nice box out from Miller that leads to the Gallinari long two. Just foot just over the line. But at the other end, he gets picked. I mean, that's, that's a hard pick. It didn't look like he... It was blatant, though, from Gasol, and that ends up in the hands of Sessions with the five on four. Crowd obviously looking for a foul. It was the shoulder of Gasol. Yeah. It got him in the throat. And, I, you know, I hate to say this, Mark, but Gallinari being a European player, I mean, there's a history of flopping with, with the Euros, okay? <laughs> and you saw how his legs, he really exaggerated that fall and i think sometimes when you exaggerate it the officials they'll kind of give you that that motion like i'm not buying it you got to get up so even if he was bumped around the throat i think his demonstrative action may have cost him the call well from one european to another it was the saw who issued the, yeah. the shoulder right there. there there was definitely a little shoulder but you see the official David Jones just telling him to, to get up. I think Gallinari overdid it. The Saul just went over to Gallinari and apologized yeah. and said, I'm looking for a horseshoe. 
Well, 48 seconds to go in this fourth quarter. Denver with the ball, down by three. Harrington, passed out of three, takes to the rim, and it's tipped in by Miller. Lakers want offensive interference. Well, Kennedy's going to wave it off. Yep, yep. they got the call. And I thought it was a good call. It look, looked to me like that ball was still on the rim as Miller tipped it. The crowd, obviously, is furious. But let's see. We'll get a good angle right here. Yep. Good call. Out of 35 seconds. And no foul now if you're Denver. You're only down three. Play out the possession. Get a stop. Plenty of time. Dominari defending on Bryant. Shot clock. Down to five. Here is Bryant kicking it out. Blake, who's been on fire, knocks down a three. Steve Blake erupting in the second half of game four. Extends the Laker lead to 92 to 86, and Denver calls for time. Blake with eight points here. Look to go in the third quarter off an offensive rebound, and sometimes that's all it takes as a shooter. And then his teammates trusted him. That's the second time we've seen somebody find him on the perimeter. Kobe Bryant doing what he should do, drawing the double team and finding the wide open Blake who hits the biggest shot of the game. Steve Blake, a good free throw shooter, got off to a slow start this season. He sat out the first 13 games with a rib injury. This is such an example, such a great example of why you have to have big time players at the end of games who can draw double teams. Denver, a team, kind of an ensemble cast. The three-point shooting for the series continues to be a, a struggle, but they just don't have that one guy who can really create a play, either for himself or for a teammate. This was a game that was tied at 86 with a minute to go. Sessions hit a three. Blake hit a three. Final seconds. Lawson able to penetrate. Four-point game. The Lakers call for time with seven and a half seconds remaining. We'll step away. We'll be back to the Mile High City in a moment. To 88 lead, and they have the ball in their front court. Now, this is where it's such an advantage to be able to advance the ball and create the extra space by putting one player in the backcourt, in this case, Ramon Sessions. Lakers will. Try to free up Kobe Bryant, get the ball into his hands. They double up on Bryant, and Gasol gets it in. Bryant lost it. Gallinari with the save, but time has run out on the Nuggets. Final score, Lakers 92, the Nuggets 88. And an entertaining game right from the start. Biggest lead of the night, seven points by the Nuggets. The biggest lead for the Lakers, and that was moments ago, a margin of six. And the Lakers are now in front in this best of seven, three games to one, with game number five back at Staples in L.A. Tuesday night, we'll have it for you on TNT starting 1030 Eastern time. Let's go to Craig. Well, I'm here with the Lakers closer, at least for tonight. Steve Blake with eight of your ten points in the fourth quarter. You had been struggling in the series. What changed? Well, first, thank God I had the opportunity to be out there. Um, we really just knocked them down. I mean, we've been getting those shots all, all series long. They have to double up on Bynum and Kobe. And uh, I was just able to knock them down tonight. Not only knocking down the shots, but the defensive end, you came up with a great block on Gallinari. <laughs> When's the last time you had a key block like that? Oh, I don't think I've had a block yet this year, so I'm pretty happy to get that one. People talk about the altitude here and how you get tired, yet you had extended minutes tonight. Was it a frustrating game, or was it a hard game to play? No, this was fun. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. This is, uh, this is what it's all about, playoff basketball. Altitude and all, uh, so I, I, it was a great night for us. With Kobe getting double teamed and also double teaming Andrew Bynum, did you have to talk to Kobe, tell him you're open, or does he have trust in you? No, he has trust in us, but I, I, also, I was letting him know throughout the game, even when I missed one, I said, I'm going to make the next one. And I let him know that, and, you know, he, he found me. Sort of like Michael Jordan used to do Steve Kerr. That was a nice combo, wasn't it? Yeah, let's <laughs> go back over to Steve Kerr with Mark. <laughs> all right, thanks, guys. And I must say, Steve, you made a remarkable 
a dramatic turn from the altitude problems that you had earlier. I did. Or was that altitude problem? Oh, altitude problem. Both. Yes. Both. Yeah. 92-88, final score. The Lakers take a three games to one lead on the Denver Nuggets. Thanks to our senior producer, Scott Cocker, director, Suzanne Smith, associate director, Billy Proctor, and Jeff Greenholtz. Graphic coordinators, Jeff Paris, Sam Polos, and our statistician, Brian Taylor. So we'll see you away for game five on Tuesday night right here on TNG. Coming up next, inside the NBA, presented by Hyundai, for Steve Kerr, Craig Sager, and the rest of the crew, I'm Marv Albert saying good night from Denver, Colorado. Now let's go to Ernie Kenny, Charles, and Shaq in Atlanta. <laughs>